All right, good morning, class. <coughs> Happy to give my speech in front of you. Uh, you all look old enough to have been uh, affected by the pandemic. Um, I'm sure most of you also know somebody that was in the healthcare industry during the pandemic. Um, I have my wife as a nurse. My wife is a nurse. She's been up to her neck uh, dealing in the healthcare industry for the last five years. She has taught me a whole bunch of lessons uh, through going through nursing school and actually becoming a nurse. Um, and I'd like to share those with you. I've been married to her for 10 years, her name's Lauren. We've lived in three different states, New Mexico, Maine, and now Pennsylvania. We have two kids, uh, a seven-year-old daughter named Brooklyn and a five-year-old son named Lincoln. Uh, through having those kids, she has additionally taught me so much stuff and that is why I'm giving you this speech. Um, <clears throat> the main points I wanna bring up is how she's taught me strength, determination, and perseverance, um, and how that has affected both of our lives. <clears throat> Way back in 2015, she started nursing school um, in the fall, and I was in the Air Force at the time. Uh, turns out she was starting school right as I was leaving for deployment. So what's, what could be worse than having your significant other leave for an extended period of time while you go through one of the hardest educational courses? Uh, three weeks after I left, she, we found out that she was pregnant with our first child, exactly what the school said not to do. <laughs> <coughs> so she went through nursing school, pregnant, was employed, unable to talk to her for days at a time. On top of that, Halfway through the pregnancy, uh, she became preeclamptic, also while in nursing school, also while I was deployed. Doctors told her that it was not safe for her to f continue nursing school because she still had to do 12-hour shifts and all the clinicals while being sick. But because she is uh, as determined as she was, she mustered up the strength to continue going through classes, going through clinicals, and eventually graduating with her nursing degree. However, uh, she did not attend nursing, her nursing graduation because lo and behold, she went into labor early and we were giving birth as her class was graduating. It was real great, we got to watch it on Zoom <laughs> from the hospital. Uh, after that, we had our daughter, we moved uh, out of the Air Force and moved to Maine. Uh, big transition, a lot going on, but she kept everything together. I was kind of loosey-goosey at the time and needed her strength and organization to keep us on the straight and narrow. In Maine, she got her first job as an actual floor nurse. Big transition from being in school. In school, you had one patient and somebody to always back you up. Uh, we learned very quickly as a floor nurse, you have like a dozen patients and you are on your own in a lot of cases. So through, through that experience, she learned, she taught me the determination to become a better nurse because she had no other option. She could either continue to strive to be better or just accept the fact that this is how things are. And that taught me a lot. I was out of the Air Force. I was still trying to figure out what I was gonna do with my life, figuring out school, figuring out career paths, and here she was being like, this is how you gotta do things. You can't just slack off. And it helped me quite a bit. I was able to get into a four year school and I'm continuing on to my second degree. Then the pandemic hit, which we've all dealt with. And this is where she really showed me her perseverance. She's been a nurse for four years now. She's taken over uh, entire department, a dementia ward in her nursing home, and pandemic hits, and everything kind of goes haywire. The healthcare industry is not the same. Everybody that couldn't, that was barely keeping up, was moving out of the healthcare industry or finding more uh, easier line of work to do. But not my wife. She took charge of a 30 person dementia unit as the only nurse on that unit and did everything she could despite budget cuts and upper management trying to make things easier to ensure that her 
patients were kept safe. I don't know how many of you were in nursing homes or have dealt with assisted care facilities, but it was not a pretty sight back when everything was happening. Uh, a lot of changes, a lot of staffing changes. Um, in a lot of cases, there wasn't any staff at all. Um, as a manager, she's pulled many 12-hour work shifts many days in a row because there simply was not enough people to take care of these individuals. For that year, she showed me the perseverance, the strength, and the determination, all three uh, major attributes that I look up to her for. Um, she showed them in that position by never letting up and ensuring that none of her patients unnecessarily were put at risk. <clears throat> after the pandemic, uh, not after, but towards the end of it, we moved down here to Pennsylvania uh, to get out of Maine, to be closer to family, where she once again took all three uh, strengths and attributes that I look up to her for and put them towards taking care of kids in assisted living facilities, um, where it's a totally different environment, you're dealing with different people, but she showed that adaptability and that strength to be able to step up to the challenge. And it really has had an impact on me. In times that I'm down, I look to what she has accomplished and tell myself that if my wife can do that with as little help that I was able to provide in a lot of those times to her, then I can also do that. So I hope that you all have somebody in your life that you can look at the same way. Thank you.